Whether a mechanical dial pressure gauge or a process transmitter, most pressure measurement devices have a max working temperature between 100 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So how do you measure the pressure of hot process fluids? We've got lots of solutions. Let's dig in and find out. In steam service, the goal is to prevent steam from entering the board on tube of the pressure gauge or the sensing element of a pressure transducer by creating a water barrier. Using a pigtail siphon, steam condenses into a trap at the bottom of the loop. And as pressure is applied, the steam pushes that water into the gauge, isolating it from direct contact with the steam. When installed, pigtail siphons should be filled with water prior to use. If done properly, they will protect most pressure instruments and steam applications. Warning. If freezing conditions occur, pigtail siphons might not be the best solution. For non-steam applications such as exhaust gas or hot oils, one might consider the use of capillary or cooling towers. If you plan to mount your instrument further away from the pipe or vessel, capillary like this can be used, which will allow you cooling of 150 degrees or more per foot. If you're looking for a more compact assembly, you may consider switching to something more like this, which is a cooling tower that employs a tightly coiled capillary system inside of a small rigid housing to perform roughly the same amount of cooling as four feet of capillary would. The diaphragm seal isolates the processed fluid from entering into these cooling elements. So consider using them when the fluid being measured gets thicker when cooled and may clog in the small orifice of the capillary or cooling tower, or freeze protection when there's concern that water may condense within the tubing itself and risk freezing. No, siphons have far too large of an ID, introducing unnecessary fill fluid into the diaphragm seal system, which will affect accuracy. Go with a cooling tower instead. Absolutely. Though you may not see the temperature reduction as you would see as a siphon installed in a steam application, but it is a valid option to extend the instrument away from the process and to allow ambient air to cool the process. You can add a cooling tower below the diaphragm seal to cool the gas prior to it coming in contact with the diaphragm surface. It isn't uncommon for an assembly to have two cooling towers, one below the seal and one above. No, a cooling tower is not a replacement for a pigtail siphon in steam service. This is due to the lack of a vertical coil to trap the condensed water. However, it is common for diaphragm seals to be used with cooling towers in steam service, especially with process transmitters. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to email us directly. Go to riotemp.com and click the contact us page. Thanks for watching, stay cool, and stay safe.